Oh, it's page six. Come on in, I'll make you some eggs a la Francaise. What I love about this space is there is so much light. There's floor to ceiling windows, which I love, that gives great city views. When I saw this apartment during COVID, I was like, this is too good to be true. I love plants in any room. Plants for me give it life. Uh, I think they're so important uh, in order to make it feel homey. Um, I've got a lot of art for my children in this apartment. This piece here is um, done by Victoria. Um, and if you go really close and you look at it, there's about 500 women inside of this woman. And it's, it's one of my favorite pieces of Victoria. I just, I just love it. And it just makes the room for me. A great piece of art really does make uh, a room. And for me, I've got, of course, Noel, who is a great painter. So he's an oil painter. He lives in Brooklyn. I just love his work. And um, there's always a moon involved somewhere. And this is actually where I rehearse for my cabaret shows. This is my piano, uh, which I absolutely love that I can't play, but I do play the bongos. <laughs> and those are here. You give me fever in the morning, fever all through the night. Fever! <laughs> so just a little, a little, a little something for you guys special, just for you at page six. This is from when we were shooting in Miami that famous trip we did where we go to Peter Tunney. And while we were there, actually Brito had us over to his studio. He's a very big artist. Um, and actually, we all went to visit his studio. And this is a little relic from the good old days of Housewives. One of the first gifts I've ever gotten from Bravo was when we first started Housewives. Oh my God, 16 years ago already. And this was a chair that they gave us for makeup. I've got my Nespresso machine right over here, my favorite coffee, and this is something I absolutely love. My friend Dr. Daryl makes this acid-kicking mocha-flavored powder that you put in your coffee, and it takes away the acidity, and for singers, really important. And it tastes like chocolate, so it makes the coffee even that more delicious. Would you like to have a little espresso with me? Cabinets open like this. Got all my stuff here hidden away, so it looks super clean, not messy. My glasses, oh, that's when I did the Kelly Clarkson show. I kept the mug, I love it. So this is my Louis Vuitton guard dog, and that's where I keep my cabaret hat. So it's an old Philip Tracy, uh, my girlfriend at New York Vintage, who I absolutely love in New York, has the best collection of vintage jewelry and hats, and, and otherwise I love the good old kind of cowboy look. This I bought in Mexico on the beach, believe it or not. Uh, this one comes from my favorite hat shop in New York. Susie's, very chic, c'est la vie, c'est bon, c'est bon. A hat is really a finishing touch. I really love hats. And when I wanna go a little bit more cash, then I got this guy. Well, hello, welcome to my marble bathroom. <laughs> I mean, I was so blessed when I opened the door of this apartment and saw this bathroom, I was like, done. Who doesn't love a marble bathroom with a big soaking tub? This is where I, wind up at the end of the night <laughs> in my comfy bed because I'm exhausted from, from you know, touring, but I love it because it's very soft colors, soft greens, soft pinks. And this piece is actually a photographer from Cuba that I bought over 15 years ago. So it's really all my favorite things and this is where I get to relax and just chill. This, this whole area is very personal and this whole cabinet is filled with jewelry <laughs> because for cabaret, I wear a lot of jewelry. Um, I've got things hanging out here that actually need repair. Like, you know, I'll be singing a song and then my earring comes flying off. And so I gotta repair a lot of jewelry. New York Vintage has been great with me. Um, I just had this repaired. This is an old piece from Dior, which I love. That's a vintage piece. Um, New York Vintage in New York, if you don't know it, look at this. Isn't this fabulous? Anyway, one of my favorite pieces. Um, I love this makeup mirror because every, every girl needs a vanity because the lighting is good, all right? So this is where, before I walk out the door, I'll put a little Chanel powder on so I'm not shiny. This is one of my favorite brands called Cadia Designs. I wear it all the time. I'm sure you've seen me wear this one. I wear this one endlessly on interviews and stuff. It's just the, per and you know what I love? It's magnetic. So it's just this boop, it goes on and you're done. Giovanni, of course, is my company that I work with, who I love. I wear Giovanni to all my shows. Depending on the story and what song it is, that's how I pick my wardrobe. So this is my new swag for my new show, Mary F. Kill. I'll be at the Paramount on March 16th and then I'm off to Los Angeles. I'm playing the Wiltern. I'm playing the Wiltern where Madonna does her show. So 
going to bring a lot of that. And of course, I don't leave without the feather boa. One of my favorite things in the closet is this hat that I wore on one of the seasons of the show when I did the song, Viva La Diva. That was a song with Desmond Child. And uh, we were all dancing at the end of the season. And this was the hat that I wore. You guys remember that. And you see these things everywhere, but I love it. And it's a keeper. This is a suit that I wore uh, last year in my cabaret show. Now, it's been there. It's been seen. You guys have seen it on social media. But I am not parting with it. I just love it. It's so fabulous. I love the color. I think everyone looks good in this color. It's royal blue. Of course it is. This one in particular I love because it's just simple. I love the color. And this is really something that looks very sexy on. See a little skin. Kind of same for this one, which I kind of love, which I just got. Um, but I like, I, for, for date night, I like to keep it uh, simple and sexy. One of the things I love most that goes with me everywhere is my crocodile clutch. For me, it's gotta have that little something extra special. Like this, you could just throw on with anything black and you dress up your look right away. This happens to be from Akira, which is one of my favorite shops. And this one too. So if you don't wanna be so jazzy snazzy, then, then you can just do the simple sequins. And this is a velvet jumpsuit, actually from my friend uh, who owns Legions. Legions is one of my favorite brands. Um, it goes from day to night and that's the thing that I love to shop. I love to shop things that you can take from day to night. You can wear it out for lunch and then you can step out for dinner, just throw on a little statement necklace and then you're chic, say la vie. So when I was doing my cabaret show in Chicago, I came across this store <laughs> and uh, yeah, this was my impulse buy. <laughs> I haven't worn them yet, but I am going to find a place to wear these because look how fabulous they are. Just waiting for the right night. I just found this. I didn't even know it was in here, but it's one of my reunion dresses from the Housewives of New York, my strapless black number. You guys remember that one, don't you? If I had to choose from all the Housewives in which closet I trade with, it would definitely be Dorinda. Welcome to my little petite terrace, which I love. It's so nice to be able to walk outside in New York um, and just take in the city views and figure out what kind of coat you need, especially in the winter. I can't wait to see you guys at the Paramount on March 16th and at the Wiltern in Los Angeles on March 22nd. Then I'll be in Modesto and Sacramento. Check out CountessLuanda.com for my dates. Can't wait to see you guys there.